what do you get when you're flying thousands of feet above the Black Hills of South Dakota and your plane's electronics and avionics go out? Well, you get one calm and focused pilot already planning his next move. You get two freaked out rear seat passengers ready to film their imminent deaths. And you get one calm, tough, vigilant teenager who's acting like this is nothing because for her, it isn't. Meet Madeline Rogers, and she's our next guest on Old Green Plane, and she's living with cystic fibrosis, and she's going to keep going, no matter what. And as for Levy and me, well, we'll need a change of shorts when we land. actually nervous because old Butch seems to be ready to fly. His wings are flapping. That door is going. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. You we're sure? Good. Yeah. He sometimes waves. Yeah. You know, Butch, like, he's he, he's home. This is ah, home for Butch. He's returning home. He's returning home, as, as am I, man. This I know, is, man. Uh, are you? How happy are you to be back home? Bro, I'm so stoked to show you guys my hometown. I'm so... It's we're just in, fun, man. We're, we're in Spearfish, South Dakota. In Spearfish, South Dakota, right outside of Lee Deadwood. Which is where you're from. Which is where I'm from. <clears throat> we're here at Eagle Aviation. They were thankful enough that they let us land here and shoot parts so of OGP. Great. They're they're tucking them in tonight. You know? I know. We got a little bed for them. Uh, we're about we're about 12 miles from Sturgis. Yeah. So I'm nervous be about fun. that. Day. Why? What do you? I, me at Sturgis. Me. Yeah. At Sturgis. Well, you wore black. Right. I have to wear black. I don't even think We're, you told me to bring. Should we try landing that thing right on the strip? Yeah. yeah. Do we have Do we have assless chaps? Because <laughs> I think you're required to have that. <clears throat> Bro, I don't. I don't even know that I pack shoes. I think it's all sandals <laughs> for this guy. You're gonna get kicked out. I'm gonna, There's no boots. I believe no you, service. I believe you can get kicked out. Yeah, you gotta have boots if you're yeah. riding a Harley here, dude. It's the largest motorcycle rally in the world. In the world. Um, and it's right here in Sturgis, not too far away from Collins' home. But today, right now, we're super excited because we get to help tell the story. Someone who's from your hometown as well. I grew up with Lori. Lori yep. and her daughter, Madeline, uh, has been fighting cystic fibrosis. Today, we're lucky enough to get to take them up and help them with their cause because, you know what, man? That's the truth. That's an that's an aviator spirit right that's there. That's the yep. Fighting yep. against something as scary as that. But mm. we're really excited for them to get here and so we can get up an old 6-2 Tango Butch. I, yeah, I can't wait to hear Liv and Maddie's story and see all the good things they're doing. Well, what do you know? Almost like oh you were cued out goodness. for an episode. <laughs> Madeline, Hi. get in here. Get in here. You gotta be in the middle. Yep. Go on the other side, yep. dude. Me... Not like blocking and tackling. Okay, this is your first on OGP. So Madeline, right? Yes. Uh, Lori, I apologize if I already said your other okay. daughter's name. I was actually gonna say Laura. Oh, and your sure. their other daughter, your daughter, you, mm -hmm. Liv, or Livia. <laughs> yeah. I have already just donned you, Liv. So that's what you're gonna get to be. But let's yeah. talk about, because I mean, you can give a little behind the scenes of who our pilot is. Are you ready? Are you ready to get up in all six two tango and butch? I'm ready, and I can't believe I'm trusting Colin with my children. It'll be good. It'll be good. Madeline, are you are you ready to fly though? Because that's what the first guest always has to get and actually fly. Is that a yes? That's a yes. Yeah. I saw a circular. Madeline. Madeline's gonna be pilot Madeline today. Pilot Madeline. All right. So tell us, pilot Colin, where what are we doing? Tell us the the. How it speak? Where are we going? Yeah, so we'll take off. Uh, That's a good thing. I like. Yeah, it. we're gonna yeah. we're gonna take off the thing. Uh, the, 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 thing, thing. The, thing. The, thing. the thing. The thing. So Craig doesn't know aviation really well, and so when he At gets all. on, he stumbles and he mumbles. But take off, and we'll loop around Sturgis. Uh, we'll come back down. We'll see all the you know all the bikes, and all the highways, and land. And then we'll swap seats. We'll do it again. Yeah, awesome. And then I have to go eat here, Killian's and Spearfish. Oh, I can't wait. And good to tell a story. So we're really excited to tell the story of you, Madeline, for really your entire family. Um, I think if I'm to imagine what this looks like, that's high praise, Colin. That is good praise. Hey, it's Grinch Traffic, Cessna 9962 Tango. We're just going to do a low approach over 3 1, and then we'll be on left hand traffic uh, for 3 1, Spearfish. And Spearfish Traffic, uh, we'll be looking for you at 7 3 Echo. Or your sister will have to do a lot of those. But well, you mentioned to us earlier that uh, you let it sneak out that you are actually afraid of heights to an extent. So what's the extent? A, a plane? <laughs> an old green plane? Is this the extent? All right, Madeline, now's your job being up there as the co-pilot. you got to be his eyes. 
That's one thing he's taught me. So you gotta be looking for this lane. <laughs> You're a junior, right? Yeah. And uh, so have you started to think about? So you said you don't know what you want, but what about college? Yeah, I thought a little bit about like sports medicine yeah. and like athletic training. Yeah. But I've also thought about like criminal justice. For you with CF, is it something where you do you, you have to as you get older, I mean, is there more to do as you get older, or is it basically the same? No, oh, it's pretty much the same all through my life, but as more, like, drugs are coming out, and, yeah. like, closer to, like, finding a cure, the yeah. more, like, things we're going to have to do on top of it. Like, I'm in a drug trial right now. Bar. Yeah, so... That was Vertex? Or, yep. Yep. So, how, how has that been for you? It's We've yep. had lots of like positive things, like nothing negative has come out of it. Because your mom's not up here, so tell us, what what do you like to do when it's not all that stuff that you're doing leading a basically adult life? What do you like to do? Um, I do play sports. Really? What I, sport? I do cross country running. Oh, that I, is awesome. <laughs> no, you're a unique breed, yeah? Yeah, uh, so actually my 7th and 8th grade year, I ran varsity, I ran high school. What? And I went to state both my seventh and eighth grade year. What, as a middle schooler? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then this, just this last year, I had stress fractures in my feet from running too much. Oh my goodness. And so I was in a cast for like four weeks, and then I tried to run at Regions, and I got 28th this year. And you have to get in the top 20 to make it, so I didn't make it this year. Uh, but. What well, stress fractures are you kidding me? Well now, Madeline, you have to add one more list of things that you now are going to get into. Aviation. <laughs>
that's a brand of horses. <laughs> 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 I don't have Spalding. If you can tell, I'm an outdoorsman. Yeah, he's pretty off brand. <laughs> <laughs> wanted to get some good footage. But it's, it's get Craig on a horse and just have <laughs> yeah. Uncle Donnie oh, crack the whip on that thing. God, uh, my mom used to make me ride. We used to go to Colorado every year. My mom would have me ride it, you know, up into the mountains. Some like picturesque view she had in her brain, but she knew right away. Craig's not gonna be the horse riding time. Well, got, why did you get into that? What was it about? Do you guys ride horses as well? Not so this much. is kind of her own thing. She really enjoys yeah. it. Yeah, but uh, James, her husband, yes. grew up riding. Okay, so yeah. your so dad, part of it. Grandpa, yeah. Oh really? He has a barn. Oh yeah. Horses. Is that where your horse is? Mm -hmm. So why do you like riding? I don't know. I like. I don't know. Yeah. I just like it. Is there something similar between like what you felt flying and like and then riding? Adrenaline. It is. Adrenaline. Okay. Adrenaline. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Why do you, you like get to live life a little yeah. bit differently than everybody else? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. See, that's why I assume I would get bucked off. Hell no. I don't want to do that. Because you would put it on YouTube like that. It would be, or this guy would. He'd put it on YouTube so fast. It would be. Yeah, so how am I going to put it on YouTube? I'd be laughing too hard. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's cool. Dude. How many kids are in your grade? Not a lot, like. Less Four, than 50. 40? 40. 40. Yeah. So, uh, does everybody know your story at school? Is everybody pretty aware of it? Yeah. Yeah? Do you feel like you're treated different at all? Or like, I mean, you wouldn't want that. At yeah, least I, I sense from you. Yeah. I feel like everyone's just known like for as long as I know. Right. Like, it's been your whole life. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 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 hey, it's Madeline. It's, it's always been a thing growing up because, you know, I'm older than her. So, it's, mm -hmm. it's always been there. And, you know, when I was younger, it was obviously harder for me to just understand yeah and it wasn't a tension thing because i was just little and yeah. it's like well why is she getting all the attention yeah. but now it's just i feel so grateful that i can participate and be active um mm -hmm. and just advocate for to you. well <laughs> actually the cystic fibrosis foundation invites teens from it's teen advocacy day is what it's mm -hmm. called um, and it's an annual event, and they invite teens from all over the nation to come and speak on behalf of their loved ones with cystic fibrosis. And they invited me to speak for cystic fibrosis. And <laughs> the first year, I think we spoke for Montana and North Dakota, wow. but um, and South Dakota, and also, South Dakota. But, wow. Yeah. But yeah, so basically, there are different asks every year, mm -hmm. but. Um, like this year, it was robust funding for the NIH and mm -hmm. FDA um, because they're super huge in what they do for you know getting the drugs approved. Yeah, yeah, drugs yeah. approved. Yeah. It's super huge, and even especially with her on the drug trial, like it's just been huge. And then yeah. comprehensive healthcare. That distance. Yeah. Oh my God! What an appreciation. Oh, there's I imagine for conference. you with your little sister, it was a perspective change. Yeah. Right, you gotta kind of. It's like you were forced to grow up. I know you were yeah. forced to grow up in a different way, and you were forced to grow up in way other ways, even though you're already an adult. But I imagine for you, the perspective change was yeah. really unique. Well, and she she inspires me, and mm -hmm. that's cheesy, yeah. but it's true. No, I mean, it's good. Like, it's family. Really, it's not cheesy. And, mm -hmm. You know, you do mature faster, and you know, you learn a lot. And for me, it's just been, you know, you only have one life, and you just need to grab life by the horns and just yeah. take it. And if you have aspirations or goals, you just need to work toward them. Yeah, and do, it. do it. Become a pilot. Yeah. Exactly. Learn how to ride a freaking horse. Yeah, right. Everyone's like, oh, well, that's crazy. Like, yeah. pilot. And I'm like, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Well, you, for you, you've obviously, this is your life. Mm -hmm. So for you, it's just an, it's reality. Yeah. Uh, but when, when the symptoms are the worst, is it, is it heavy for you? Is it like, is it tough for you to, you know, do you feel, or you just like, screw it, I gotta keep going, I don't have another choice, or? A little bit of both, like I have my bad days that are like, ugh. Yeah, that. literally like that. I mean, for those who don't know, which I think it's good to mention, mm -hmm. it's about, it's literally, I've heard it described, it's drowning from inside. Yeah. Which scares, I have daughters. I can't imagine what your mom goes through. I known you for you know all of two hours now. Got scared to death in a plane with you because I thought the electronics were going out. But that's a lot. Yeah. I couldn't imagine that being on your brain. Yeah. But it's just normal. It's you're just you keep going, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because what is it? What other symptoms are there besides feeling like there's mucus build up inside your lungs? What are the other? Coughing others? a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. Pretty healthy for like. Yeah. Right. What I have. Yeah. Like how much? But like. 
everything just becomes normal. Yeah. Yeah, so there's not really like coughing. Yeah. Yeah, but for yeah. you, you yeah. hear it on and a different yeah. level. Yeah. And, uh, you so, only take a yeah. ton of medication. Like, she yeah. takes about 30 to 40 pills a day. Every mm -hmm. day. Every day on a good day wow. when she's healthy. That's without being sick. Well, and for so. you as her mother, this is obviously from the moment. Yeah. How long before? When did you find out? How old was she? She was born April 17th, and she was seven weeks early. She spent two weeks in the NICU, mm -hmm. and then had those newborn screening tests, and we got a phone call about a week after that, and May 19th, that her screening had come back positive, and of course that's just a screening at that point. Uh -huh. But, I mean that's not ever news mm -hmm. you want to hear. Right. Mm -hmm. So she was about just a little over a month old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's an extra amount. They have really salty skin. That's, oh, I, I read about that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Because that's actually what the problem is, is the chloride. sodium chloride yeah. ion channels within yeah. the cells. And can't, it can't release like yes. normal, because yeah. that's what the cilia actually helps like regulate the right. salt levels inside the mucus, correct? Yep. So it's yeah. like an osmosis thing. Yeah. Everything's thick yeah. because it can't get the yeah. fluid out, so everything's just it's so, throughout it's the entire body. Something so, so small at a cellular level. Yeah. But yeah. it's nuts because you talk about the 30 pills a day and the trials and tribulations but yet I'm getting to know a young lady that runs cross country yeah right. well and I don't want to ask this because I it's it I don't want to sound strange but like what what are the bucket list things everybody's levy's bucket list by the way yeah. he got a check an yeah. item off the list on his way up oh here. Oh my gosh. It was to see Mount Rushmore. Oh, and for the awesome. first time he got to see it was high above in old oh, 62 Tango. Great. That was cool. Yeah. That was neat. Although he would call us in there and be like, it's gonna be so rough. I was like holding on to the oh shit handle for my <laughs> life. It was rough over the hills. Yeah, but it wasn't, it was smooth. Mm -hmm. But that was a bucket list. Um, I wanna know all of yours, starting with you, what's another oh my gosh. bucket list thing for you? It can be anything or something you really wanna do. Come back to me, let me think about okay. it. It's just like ordering, that's why I go last. <laughs> yeah, Laura, your turn. Good to think, good, you know, any, just, you know. I would like, I mean, speaking in what's relative today, I would say I would like to see a cure for CS and be part of that. Yeah. In the very near future. You are I mean, a part of that. Yeah. Well, you are and a that's huge part the, of that. But I just want to keep going yeah. and I want to. You know, talking like what you did with Olivia, I, politics are not my thing. Yeah. <laughs> not, like, I don't want to argue the issues. I don't, I mean, I care, but I don't. Like, yeah. I just don't really have, but <laughs> well, you want to really me? having passion for something like this, having a reason to go to Capitol Hill and yeah. talk to your politicians, and then being able to debate it well with them is so interesting to me that we've been here. That. All right, Lydia, yeah. what's yours? What's your bucket like list for today? Mine, I guess, in terms of this, it's or anything, it doesn't have to be just this. Wait, well, so you it also, was flying with me was on your bucket list? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh good timing! Kitchen. You're not getting out oh, of it. Goodness. You're not getting out of it. Oh, God. Colin, you have the most. Ranch. Actually, I think she was talking about trials. I think she was talking about going back to Sioux Falls for one of her trials too. She's talking about that, isn't it? Love I mean, you. there's one for you here too, brother. You're gonna get in. Okay. What is your bucket list? I don't know. I just want to travel. Travel, yeah. yeah. Did you finish yours? What was your reason? Yeah. No, I want to hear it. Well, she said it would be finding. Yeah. But then I also want to know because that's, I agree. I think everybody here would. I'm now am on team, you know, Eminem. Uh, but. We got to come to the moonlight next week. I know. Yeah. Don't think I we're not gonna cheers to it. Yeah, the what? For sure. The, just the whole oh, yeah, like where it comes from. Yeah. But what? It's not just a life. Your life, your lives are all not just about that. Yeah. You know, yeah, you're it's, all individuals. It's a big part of it, though. Oh, without I a doubt. Love, I, I and I, I honestly do. I really I love really doing that and feeling like I am making a difference because mm -hmm. it's huge. And I aged out this year of Teen Advocacy Day. Mm -hmm. So. That's Hopefully, much. honestly, part of my bucket that, list would probably be like, for me to get back to the hill and be able this to is add the games to members of Congress. Oh, cool. I love it. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 you guys have to date because I want to spread your praises. Yeah. You have raised over half a million dollars, yes. right? Yeah. 
which goes to, I mean, just it awareness, cures, the outreach. whole thing. Oh, oh dude, I am, I'm about getting ready to go in deep. You are going to bring the food right now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right. That's so oh, oh, my goodness. He remembered. We have a bet going if he was going to remember all the food. Ooh. <laughs> I had I had the soup of the day. Oh wait, no, I had, you're right. I hey, nobody gets to eat. Hey, you didn't even know your own. Uh, we ordered kale. Kale. Dips. Poutine is that dude's. Pico, avocado. Okay. And then I got I got his burger. I got. Um, Levy, do you want to eat with us after we're done? You got to get all the B-roll and stuff. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Shoot, you got the best. Ready. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do your thing. <laughs> so. Levy. We'll wake you up tomorrow. Yeah, bro. You're gonna need a nap. How are the wings? Were they hot? Here, you wanna get some of this? Oh my goodness. We're saying goodbye. Oh. Parting is such not sweet sorrow. Is that what that means? I gotta tell you, I love your story. I'm fascinated by all the work you do. Lori, it's been a struggle, you. but I know. Yes. Oh, Thank so you. Great it's like a reunion of sorts. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. But, I mean, as a parent, I can appreciate everything you your family has gone through, and it's amazing to watch your journey. And it's not just your journey, but you've kind of made the whole country and this whole cystic fibrosis as a whole and, yeah. and, and, and what, what you're away. doing is amazing so yeah. so Thank much you. appreciation well hold on thank you what do you think of being up in old green plain so cool so cool love it pilot it was awesome, it was awesome. yeah mm -hmm. you're ready to fly more i yeah. know that yeah yeah mom it was good it was good you had a good time you were safe yes ah you got the vote of confidence <laughs> <Yay>! that's four, <laughs> that's four. <laughs> all right thanks guys yeah, thank, thank you thank you Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you guys as well. All right, let's go go. <laughs> I'll never forget. I know. God. We gotta keep a camera on him. You were the man. Do you guys ever watch Hot Ones? No? Have you ever seen Hot Ones? No one sees Hot Ones. We gotta, we gotta raise awareness of Hot Ones. That's better. We, you better help us out. We're trying to raise awareness of Hot Ones. Sean Evans, hit, hit us up. <laughs>